Some people believe they faked their deaths. Although there was never any concrete evidence, some people wondered if Tom and Eileen Lonergan faked their own deaths. After the Australian news broke the story, more than 20 people came forward claiming to have seen the Lonergans after they supposedly disappeared. They were allegedly seen all around Australia, including in a Darwin hotel and a Port Douglas bookshop two days after their dive, according to the owner. Another disappearance theory supporting the fake death idea speculates an unidentified boat a mile away from the dive site picked up the Lonergans. Considering they both left their passports behind, never touched their bank accounts after the incident, and their insurance policies were never cashed in. If the Lonergans really did fake their death, they would have been forced to start completely from scratch. Also, they would have had to rely on the coincidental fact that the crew counted heads incorrectly. Eileen's wetsuit washed ashore with several tears and barnacles attached to it. In addition to pieces of the Lonergan's diving equipment, a women's wetsuit the same size Eileen would have worn was also found washed up on shore several months after the couple went missing. It was intact with no blood or holes that would be consistent with injuries from a shark attack. The suit did have some tears in the armpit and buttocks areas but were thought to be the result of the suit getting snagged on coral as it drifted through the ocean. There were barnacles attached to the zipper, and authorities determined from their rate of growth the suit had probably been adrift in the ocean since the end of January, around the time of the couple's disappearance. Captain believes the Lonergans may have hitched a ride on his boat. While police were investigating the case, another strange story emerged. Another boat captain who claimed to have visited the same dive spot the next day may have encountered the couple. According to his story, the head count before the vessel's return trip came out to more than the one taken when the boat left port. Tourists on his expedition that day were all from Italy and spoke in their native tongue. However, the captain also claimed to hear a few American voices among the tourists that day. If his story is true, it's possible the Lonergans slipped in among the divers and simply disappeared once the boat reached the shore. This theory would mean the couple planned ahead of time to spend the night in the middle of the ocean waiting for an entirely different boat to show up the next day. While it is an interesting theory, it's not very plausible. Diaries' entries have led some to believe they had a suicide pact. The diaries of Tom and Eileen Lonergan were discovered after their disappearance and contained some eerie insights. According to entries, both Tom and Eileen were unhappy with their lives and each other. The couple both had careers as teachers and each wrote how they hated their jobs. Eileen's diary included entries about how she felt too intertwined with her husband and how he had developed a death wish. Tom's diary backed this up as he wrote, like a student who has finished an exam, I feel that my life is complete and I am ready to die. Although these disturbing writings from the Lonergans were mostly considered coincidental, some theories suggest the couple was carrying out a suicide pact or were the victims of a murder-suicide at the hands of Tom. A dive slate with a distress message was discovered six months after their disappearance. In order to communicate effectively underwater, many divers carry dive slates, small boards on which they can write messages or record information. Six months after Tom and Eileen Lonergan's disappearance, a well-weathered slate was discovered by a fisherman miles away from their dive site. Along with the date of January 26, 1998, 
and a time of 8.01. The slate read, please help us or we will die. This distress note appears to clearly indicate the Lonergans were not left behind by choice and were alive at least until the next day to write the distress message. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.